Hello! In this video, I'm going to talk about Loom. Loom is a video recording platform similar to Screencastify. It allows you to video yourself, your screen, or both. And you find it in the Chrome Web Store because it is a Chrome extension. So once you go to the Web Store and you search Loom, this is what you should see. And you want to add it to Chrome. I have the rate it button because I've already added it. And once you go through that installing process, you will see this icon in your browser bar. Let's use it. Okay. To use Loom, click on the icon. You have three options. You can select screen and camera. And that's where you'll have a picture of yourself in the lower left hand corner. You can change the image size if you choose, or you can exit it out. Screen only. So you can have a picture of yourself there or cam only. And even though cam only looks just like screen and cam, the only thing that's being recorded is you. Anything that you see in this circle down below here, that's what students will see when they watch the recording. So I'm going to go back to screen and cam, and I'm going to start recording. I click on your entire screen, and then click the share button. And once that countdown finishes, you are live. So anything that you do, is recorded. So go through your lesson, go through your slide deck. If you are talking about a website, go ahead and talk through the parts that you want to share. And then when you are done, you go back to the Loom icon and you can see that it's recording because that reddish circle is pulsing. Click on it. And that takes you to the loom.com website because that extension is attached to a website. And this right here is the video that you just recorded. And here's your link that you'd want to share. The default privacy setting is only with the link can someone watch it. But if you wanted other people to watch it in the public, you do have that option. I'm going to stick with link sharing. The other thing that I want to draw your attention to is that um, there is a comment section. So if you don't want comments, then you can go to settings. and click those options off and then save. So the settings is right here. Let's say you made it, but you didn't want to share it for a few days. Go to loom.com And it immediately takes you to my videos. And so this is where all of your videos are stored. Find the one that you want to share, copy the link, and then drop that into Google Classroom or the any other medium that you are sharing this video through. All right. Well, good luck using Loom, and if you have any questions, please reach out to the instructional tech team. Thanks for watching.